Now our other breaking news story. Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg has died of complications from cancer. Justice Ginsburg spent her final years on the bench as the unquestioned leader of the court's liberal wing. She became a celebrity of sorts to her admirers. It was never more noticeable than tonight as people flocked to the steps of the Supreme Court building to remember a trailblazer, an icon. Ruth Bader Ginsburg was a star in the legal world, but most Americans learned her name in 1993 when then President Bill Clinton nominated her for the Supreme Court. I, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, do solemnly swear. Poised and soft spoken, she was a native New Yorker with a stellar resume and only the second woman ever chosen for the nation's highest court. Decades earlier, after graduating from Columbia Law School, Ginsburg had to fight her way along the career path. She had the full support of her husband, Martin, but being Jewish, a woman, and a mother, she said, were three strikes that put her out of the game. Rejected by law firms, she took a job as a law clerk, then a professor. In the 1970s, she started the Women's Rights Project at the ACLU. Having experienced discrimination, she devoted the next 20 years of her career to fighting it. Ginsburg took on a series of landmark cases dealing with gender equality. She argued six cases before the Supreme Court and won five. And she welcomed President Clinton's nomination, not just as a personal achievement, but as a step forward for women. It contributes to the end of the days when women, at least half the talent pool in our society, appear in high places only as one at a time performers. One of the high court's more liberal voices, Ginsburg constantly supported civil rights. And she issued a strong dissent in the Bush versus Gore case, which decided the 2000 election. But she also voted with her conservative colleagues, she called the late Antonin Scalia her best buddy, and the two put ideology aside to share their love of opera and adventure. But she raised a political flap during the 2016 presidential race when she called Republican Donald Trump a faker. She later said she regretted her remarks, but stopped short of an apology. Ginsburg has had several health scares. In 2018, doctors removed two growths from her lungs, causing her to miss six days in court. She survived colon cancer and two incidents involving pancreatic cancer. Her refusal to step down in her unparalleled work ethic earned her pop culture icon status. It was beyond my wildest imagination that I would one day become the notorious RBG. <laughs> Ginsburg lost her husband in 2010 after 56 years of marriage. But she was back in court a few months later for what she called an exhilarating development. When Elena Kagan, along with Sonia Sotomayor, joined her on the high court. Another milestone for the women's movement, which Ginsburg helped pioneer. Just last night, the National Constitution Center awarded Justice Ginsburg the 2020 Liberty Medal for her efforts to advance liberty and equality for all. Justice Ginsburg did not deliver a speech during the virtual ceremony, but she submitted a letter calling the award a huge honor. She also said it was her great good fortune to fight for equality. President Trump appeared to be hearing the news about Justice Ginsburg for the first time when he spoke to reporters immediately following a campaign rally in Minnesota. She led an amazing life. What else can you say? She was an amazing woman. Whether you agreed or not, she was an amazing woman who led an amazing life. I'm actually sad to hear that. I am sad to hear that. Democratic presidential nominee Joe Biden, also just returning from a campaign event in Minnesota, spoke from Wilmington, Delaware, on the passing of Justice Ginsburg. Practice the highest American ideals as a justice equality and justice under the law. And uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg uh, stood, uh, stood for all of us. As I said, she was a beloved figure. The former vice president also said the pick to replace Justice Ginsburg should be named after the election. It didn't take long for the political battle to begin. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell has already weighed in. McConnell said the, fuel, the full Senate will vote on President Trump's pick to replace Justice Ginsburg, even though it's an election year. In February 2016, when Justice Antonin Scalia died, McConnell refused to act on President Obama's nomination to fill the opening. The seat remained vacant until Donald Trump took office. 
Minority Leader Chuck Schumer tweeted that the American people should have a voice and that the vacancy should not be filled until we have a new president. Justice Ginsburg reportedly dictated a statement to her granddaughter shortly before her death. In it, she said, quote, my most fervent wish is that I will not be replaced until a new president is installed. Stay with Eyewitness News for continuing coverage and reaction to the passing of Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. You will also find tributes from local leaders on our website, cbsphilly.com.